Okay, I am Kyle Million, and this is my closet door. Now, before anybody asks me, yes, that is SpongeBob, that is Patrick. It's okay. Now, when I was bored this weekend, I modified my closet door with a garage door opener. I have the button right here on some duct tape. If I can get it off. And when I click it, my closet door opens. Now I cut a garage door short and bolted it in. It is attached to the back of the door with a lot of duct tape. And I calibrated it with these contacts right here. You adjust this for when it closes and you adjust this for when it opens and then this contact in the middle goes up and down. When this middle contact touches this and it's just like the gate that Mr. Peters taught us about when it touches closed the circuit kills and then it's done. So when you twist these knobs at the top and that's how you adjust it. So once I finally got it done and ready it works pretty good. Now one all of, one thing I also learned is why they have the safety systems on these garage doors. I had the swing arm right here and I was adjusting it and the swing arm came in and it caught my mirror and it bent it in and cracked the glass that's what all the duct tape is for and it kept going until I clicked the button and it quit. So that is why they have the laser light curtains at the bottom of the garage door because it will keep going. They're very strong. I made a sign that says do not force open and it works pretty good. I've been using it like crazy. Okay, see you guys later. Okay my closet part two this morning when I tried to close it I'm, apparently there was something in the tracks down here so when the wheel for the mirror got stuck it locked up the garage door and it shoved it into the wall and it pushed this arm into the mirror and threw it and ended up breaking the glass. You can see the other duct tape part is on the floor. And when that happened, it tore the plaster screws right out of the wall and shoved it against the wall. And now that back part is jammed into the wall and all the top surface mounts are jammed. So now I gotta get back there. So now when I first tried to install this I noticed that behind this plate are two knobs that adjust the force that the motor uses to push the garage door closed or open and I chose to ignore it and as soon as it caught something it kept going but the mirror stayed in place so now I got glass all over my floor and it's just a mess. So that is another thing that I learned about this assembly. And now I get to take it all out and fix some walls. Should be fun. Okay. Thank you. And goodbye. Never mind.